Hello, how are you? Pretty good, how you doing? Good, what's your name? Mark. How are you, Mark? So, um, where are we and what are we doing here? Uh, we're at Summit Point testing out these new SVT vehicles. So, Summit Point, uh, this is in the state of... Uh, what? West Virginia. Oh yeah, West Virginia. Safety here, you like. West Virginia, uh, so a lot of history in this truck. It's kind of an old truck. It's an old track, opened up in the early 70s. It's been around for, matter of fact, they just had the 45th anniversary last month. Okay. How long is it? It's two miles, this particular track. And uh, how many turns? 10 turns. 10 turns, okay, so. We're not gonna hear for the instructions we're, here. We're gonna wait for this guy right here to say go, the guy in the yellow shirt. Over there, okay. Yeah. So this is the charger. The last car or the police car? SRT, okay. So the big engine in this one. Oh, this is the small engine. Oh, this is a small one? The Hellcat's got the big motor. Well, wow. I mean, yeah, 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 the bigger, the even bigger. <laughs> so have you driven it in it in the truck? I have not driven this particular car, but I did get an opportunity to drive the Hellcat this morning. And? It's an amazing car. But what, what, uh, what aspect of it, like, uh, really got you? Everything. Great acceleration, good brakes, good steering response, nice firm suspension. Car handles very well for what it is. For a lot of uh, horsepower, uh, 700, 707 horsepower. So actually, we have a little bit of a scene to turn it down. So we're waiting for him. Go ahead and go. So first lap, just to learn a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, yeah, try to stay to the right here, tour about halfway down, then we'll ease over to the left. Etiquette. They say just leave the transmission in a, in a automatic, right? Yeah. It's much it's modern than me. It shifts very well on automatic, actually. So on this one, we start going to start braking at 4? At about the 500, 5, 450 mark in these cars. Okay. We'd rather brake a little early than a little late. Yeah. And never turn, never brake on a curb, right? That's right. Try to come all the way and touch the curbing just a little bit. You can let the car out to the outside. Very nice. over to the right side of the track a lot of blind spots in this track a lot of blind spots in this track Very nice. 
line now. So make sure you get it gathered back up. Good. You're good. Squeeze the gas on. It's a 10, but I get a 7. <laughs> right. So basically, you wait till the cones to turn in all the way into yeah. the paint. You let the car come all the way and almost touch these green cones. Okay. And then it's a straight line for the orange cone. Okay. If you need to brake, a little bit of brake here, but then off the brake and just squeeze the gas just a little bit through this corner. You do not want to lift in this corner. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. If you do, the, the back end comes out and there's nowhere to go the back end comes out so you have this cool down lap we want to use the brakes as little as possible and then get nice and cool for the next guy now this is where you're struggling this little part's actually a little bit slower than the first you want to end up here yeah and then i have to go really to turn okay. in here all the, all the way across right if you're going there too fast you end up on the wrong edge of the track that makes all this a big mess. All right, so we're going to go ahead and ease over to the right edge of the track. And then again, let's use the brakes as little as possible. But we don't want to run anybody over. <laughs> that would be bad. And we'll go all the way to the front on the right side of the grid here. Right up there, right up where he's at. Easy. You just put her in park and take your foot off the brake. Very good. Thank good you, job. Mark. Maybe good I can job. get an eight the next time. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what you're working on. Thank you. <laughs>